Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys my Perdition Kagero deck profile for uh, the end of January 2015. Um, it's a really fun deck. Uh, basically, it revolves around using the Great and Dragonute as your main Legion vanguards, both with two awesome skills. So we'll go ahead and give you guys the deck profile. Um, I run four of the Dragonic Overlord Perdition Dragon, the Great. Um, his skill is when he is in Legion, you can counterblast one and discard two to restand all your Vanguard after it attacks a rearguard. So you basically get four drive checks, which is awesome, and you possibly get the potential to wipe out a rearguard and hit their Vanguard as well. And with a 20,000 column Vanguard, you really can't go wrong with this guy. And I also run four Perdition Dragon Vortex Dragon Newt. Uh, this guy is great early game just because of that damage calculation ability. You counterblast two cards and choose a unit with the same name as a unit on your vanguard circle. So it could either be Dragonute or the 12k attacker, which is his mate, and discard it. And then you retire two of your opponent's grade two or less rear guards and then deal them one damage. Plus the trigger is negated, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, trigger effects activating when you use this guy's skill also. Um, it's really awesome. You can only use the skill once per turn, um, but like I said, great early game pressure, putting on that damage and then hitting with your vanguard and rear guards. For grade twos, I run four of the 12k attacker. Uh, for perdition dragons, pretty standard to run uh, four 12ks, plus he's the mate for Dragonute, and you also need to discard him for the cost for Dragonute's ability. So all in all, a great card. I also run four Menace Laser Dragon. This card is the one that where you can counterblast one when this unit is placed on rear guard. If you have a Vanguard with Perdition in its card name, you can choose something in the same column as Menace Laser and retire it. So you can hit grade threes, um, annoying starters that are in the corner with this guy, all for the cost of one CB. It's an awesome card to use. Plus, I also use three of the mate for the great. Neo Flame. I only run three because I really find that's all you need for this guy. His ability is when he's placed on rear guard, he gains the skill. When something in the same column as this card would die, you can counterblast one to choose another unit in that column. So he works well with the Great, basically because once the Great hits something in that column, you can use Neo Flame to kill whatever remains in that column, clearing out that whole column. And then for Grade Ones, I run four Dragon Mongojo. Uh, rest discard draws are awesome in Legion decks just because they help you get cards in your drop zone faster. Uh, Gojo is no exception. Riding him for and having you go first really is an awesome play. Uh, four perfect guards. Uh, nothing in this deck is, you know, um, a special counter blast or whatever. So you don't need to run the Perdition uh, PG. I just like it how the art looks. It's pretty awesome. And then four of the 10k attacker for Perditions, pretty standard. And two Calamity Tower. This card is awesome in this deck uh, with its Soul Blast 2 draw ability. It powers the Legion and gives you that extra draw. And then for Grade Zeros, the starter I run is the one that works great with the Great uh, Perdition Dragon, Petal Flare, Draco Kid. When you're Vanguard Legion, you can put this card into your soul. If you do, choose a Vanguard. It gets the skill. When this unit attack hits, um, you can choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. So with the Great, um, they're really either going to have to guard the rear guard and then perfect guard the uh, vanguard or vice versa. But if they can block two, they'll stop this guy's ability from going off. But either way, you'll get a free kill um, with this guy's skill. So it's pretty awesome. And then for triggers, I run eight crit. Uh, Blu-ray Draco Kid is my preferred. And then for the Perdition, uh, I might think about switching it to ten. But for right now, I'm pretty comfortable with eight. Uh, for draw... I really like Gatling Claw on this just because of that CB put into soul effect to kill uh, grade zeros your opponent may have. And for the heal. So, yep, that's it for the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And Kira, Quali out.